Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is Essek Hopkins. Now our story today begins with the creation of the Continental Navy, because when they created the Continental Navy, they needed to put someone in charge, and the first Commodore they chose in any American Navy was... Essex Hopkins, Rhode Island Zone. Now, it probably helped Essex that his brother, Stephen Hopkins, was in the Continental Congress and a signatory of the Declaration of Independence and a prime mover toward independence in the first place. So Essex, who had experience sailing ships, of course, was put in charge of this young Navy that had eight ships. And they sailed out of Philadelphia, and their goal was, well, his commission said, to go down to the Chesapeake and review the British Army there. And if you can attack them, then you should attack them. But essentially, just do whatever you can to make the British's life miserable. We don't expect much of you and your eight ships against the most powerful military in the world, but do your best. So, he did. He sailed down to the Chesapeake, looked around, said, yeah, that's the British Navy, all right, and left because it would have been a slaughter. They would have absolutely been destroyed versus that number of ships. So instead, what he did is he sailed to the Bahamas. He said, hey, let's disrupt their trade lines a little bit. And they went to what we know today as Nassau. And he landed on Nassau and attacked a fort and actually landed and took the fort. And this is very important because this is the first time that what more or less were the United States Marines landed on foreign soil for the very first time. They took the fort, they took all the weapons and ammunition they could and packed them on the ships and then they left. Because what are they going to be doing sitting around in the Bahamas, nice as it might be. So, they went back north. And on their way north, they headed to Essex's hometown of Rhode Island because that was the best port for them to deliver what they captured and get it to George Washington, who at this point still desperately needed supplies. On his way past Long Island, they ran into a few British ships and they engaged them and actually captured... Two of them, although the real prize, the, uh, uh, the uh, Glasgow found it, the Glasgow uh, was the real prize, and they were not able to take that. It was a much bigger ship, and it got away. So he lands, and Hopkins kind of sits around in Rhode Island for a while because he has no instructions, and he's not exactly sure what to do with his tiny little navy. Uh, unfortunately for him, he was soon thereafter given a uh, trial by the Continental Congress because they said, hey, we told you to go and attack in the Chesapeake and the British were there and you didn't attack and that was your instructions. So they gave him trouble for not only not doing much in Rhode Island, which kind of soured many of his men towards him, but for that same instance, he was got off with it because he went there and was like, they would have murdered us. <laughs> like, it was the British Navy. And he was defended by many people, especially at this point, the Continental Congress was kind of dividing itself into parties. And uh, the likes of John Adams and John Hancock, among others, both very vigorously defended uh, Essex Hopkins, saying he did the best he could. And so he got off with it. No, didn't get in any trouble, but then retired. He was already a much older man. Uh, famously, his brother had palsy from age. So after this, he essentially retired to home. But that is the story of Essex Hopkins, the first Commodore in the U.S. Navy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit like. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe. I put out videos five days a week about the American Revolution, and especially on Wednesdays, we do our live video where I discuss the founders I wrote about in the past week and what I've learned. So I hope you join us tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, and I will bring you a live video tomorrow.